This is such an extraordinary year. Biodiversity is the basis of our prosperity, of our well-being, of the health of the planet. We need to preserve it, we need to restore it. Some months ahead of the UN COP15 for Biodiversity, Spain remains committed to the goal of reversing the loss of biodiversity and restoring up to 30% of the biodiversity, protecting with the specific figures so to ensure that this can be the refuges, this can be the places where we can still recover the biodiversity. We need to mainstream biodiversity protection across all sectors. We need to preserve biodiversity both in land and in the ocean. And we need to ensure that the legal context does provide the right basis so to ensure that this can happen. We have been working for a long while already in the update of our strategic plan for the protection of biodiversity, restoration, and building of the different green corridors that can ensure that uh, the green understanding of our day-to-day -day life is compatible with all the other economic activities. We are taking action to ensure that 30% of our land and marine biodiversity is protected by 2030. It is still something that deserves additional work, but it is going very well, and people, citizens, do understand and do feel committed to achieve this goal. This will require additional resources and cooperation worldwide. We need to observe, to preserve, to maintain, and to restore. And these uh, demands an additional effort coming from science, but also from policy makers and local communities. This is very important, but it also requires the legal framework at the UN context, both when talking about the protection of biodiversity beyond the national jurisdiction areas and in the context of the COP15. We have still time, but not so much. We need to accelerate our commitment, we need to accelerate our action, so to ensure that COP15 is a real success.